didn't get the Jedi story, you do not. Get the magic of Star Wars, you do not. <laughs> Ah, Vindication. Is that what we're all looking for here today? I don't know, but this this one's a good one. This one's a good one. The story just came out a couple days ago, and the timing of this is it's not totally strange, but it'll make sense as we go through the article. So in case you didn't know or didn't hear, Marcia Lucas slams Kathleen Kennedy, J.J. Abrams, and sequel trilogy. They don't get it. This is from Variety, but there was a million other articles reporting on this. But in case you didn't know who she was, Marsha Lucas, the Oscar-winning editor of the original Star Wars, wasn't very happy with the Disney sequel trilogy. As you may or may not have heard, the story goes something like the original Star Wars was kind of a mess, didn't make a lot of sense when they filmed it. They kind of just did it by the seat of their pants. And then the actual movie was not created until it got into the editing bay. And that's where things really really took a turn to make it into the Star Wars that we all obviously fell in love with. And this interview is actually from, an, it's from this book by J.W. Rinsler, Howard Kazanjian, A Producer's Life. So he worked on Star Wars, so they got some interview uh, questions with Marsha Lucas, and that's where this all came from. So this is being released in a, in a strange spot, but she won, just to give her background, she won an Oscar uh, for her editing on Star Wars, and she also uh, co-edited Return of the Jedi. She was an uncredited editor on Empire Strikes Back. She also edited Taxi Driver, which won her a BAFTA nod, American Graffiti, with nabbed her an Oscar nomination, Alice Doesn't Live Here, New York, New York, and she was married to George Lucas from 1969 to 83. So she's got all the credit in the world. She doesn't need to prove any more street credit for many of us. So <laughs> you got you just gotta read some of what she said. I mean, it's it's pretty awesome because anybody who disagreed with the Star Wars trilogy, the new Disney Star Wars trilogy, was basically smashed into pieces. Um, I remember when Last Jedi came out, we, we were working on a meme where it was, you know, gravity doesn't work in space and how st stupid these movies were. So here's what she says. She says she did, she likes Kathleen Kennedy. She always liked her. <laughs> I don't know why she said she's full of beans, but whatever. And she liked her husband and uh she goes but now that she's running she would say but she just goes now that she's running lucasfilm and making movies it seems to me that kathleen kennedy and jj abrams don't have a clue about star wars they don't get it and jj right abrams is writing these stories when i saw that movie where they kill han solo i was furious i was furious when they killed han solo absolutely positively there was no rhyme or reason for it I thought, you don't get the Jedi story. You don't get the magic of Star Wars. You're getting rid of Han Solo? <laughs> I mean, this is just killer. This is just crushing. Absolutely crushing. So here the, uh, they go into more of her background. And uh, <laughs> she continues. Oh, this is just, this is just beautiful. They have Luke disintegrate. They kill Han Solo. They kill Luke Skywalker. They don't have Princess Leia anymore. And they're spitting out movies every year. And they think it's appear uh, important to appeal to a woman's audience. So now their main character is this female who's supposed to have Jedi powers. But we don't know how she got Jedi, Jedi powers or who she is. It sucks. The storylines are terrible. Just terrible. Awful. You can quote me. <laughs> J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy, talk to me. <laughs> so this book is available to purchase. I think it wasn't released until September 14th. So nobody really finished the book and got into it. I mean, this this lady, she got stones, stones of steel. But I think it's hilarious that she's like, uh, you know, they have Ray, and we think Ray. I think Ray sucks. She's a terrible character. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful vindication. So. I thought this was an important story just to point out there and uh, have everybody kind of see, you know, the the fandom menace 
all those guys out there and just uh, fans in general who are like wow what is this garbage we're being force fed the w one thing that i think is very telling of new star wars right is there are no new spin-off shows for new star wars right here you have the mcu on disney they've got a hawkeye movie right the least important avenger they earn a, a show they've also got a show about falcon and the winter soldier you know two minor players right You've got this whole, you've got Ray, Poe Dameron, John Boyega, all these other actors who all said, like, you're not going to Disney plus me, and none of them get shows. Nobody cares. Nobody's buying any merchandise. The only thing they're buying is the Mandalorian and the Baby Yoda stuff. I'm not calling him Grogu. He's still Baby Yoda in my eyes. So anyway, I thought this was pretty fantastic to see, like, a real professional Someone with all the cred in the world who, who clearly cared about Star Wars, helped make the original Star Wars. The thing that you, people share with across their entire family spanning 40 years or whatever it is now, from like the 19, late 1970s all the way to the prequels, and then you get this new stuff. And I'm not a huge fan of the prequels, but whatever. I mean, they are what they are. Anyway, vindication is glorious glorious and uh i we i may have done some other stores videos where i was ripping different things but uh you can catch them if you look be sure to catch our full length audio podcast you can get anywhere where podcasts stream for free on itunes stitcher spotify all those great places you can also catch it live stream here interact with us in the chat we're here we give out things we have all sorts of fun come join us for a party it's every Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can also catch uh, us on Instagram if you want to interact with us and you want to talk to us and ask us questions or whatever. Just DM us or you know, check everything out. But um, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, I'm your main man, Z. And uh, I'm on to the next one.